Learn composition using cider cans. This is part of a series that I'm doing, Doris Charest, about using logos as examples for our paintings. So we'll analyze the logo and see if it's doable for us to use that same kind of concept in our paintings. So we start with the little circle with a design that contains the name of the brand. So this is Okanagan Cider. And then there's a shape at the top. There's a line at the bottom. And we're repeating colors now. So you have purple, purple, and purple. And it's a little tiny line of beige and then beige in the bigger part, and little bits of beige around the little circle too. So it's light logo against dark text and a repetition of colors. So can we do this in our paintings? So when you have a figure, the figure is the automatic light with some dark elements. Here are the eyes, and then against lighter areas and repeating shapes around the head. So that's one way of repeating that concept. Here we have a figure against a light area, against a darker area. So the figure is dark, then it's light, then it's dark again. So that's a repetition of shape and color that we get from the logo. Anything else that we can do? Yes, there is. So you have an abstract. You have dark shapes against light shapes, pattern shapes against simplified shapes, and they all aim towards a focal point. And in the logo, that's the name of the cider. Here, it's the focal point with the most texture. So light area against dark area with texture. So you use the repetition of color, main shape, that's light against dark areas, and that's something that we learned from this cider can. So use this in your paintings. We'll see you in the next one.